It's like I'm going for insane There's nothing left to say It is time let it be Away from me Away from me It's always you It's always you and welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another video for you guys and today we're gonna be doing our makeup it's been a while since i've done like a little makeup tutorial with you, you guys here on youtube i really even haven't been on youtube that much um, yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing today we're just gonna be going ahead and getting liddies while we do our makeup if you guys got some goodies to smoke you guys should smoke with me you know get your shit so yeah, let's go ahead and get started with a hit. Okay guys, I went ahead and did my eyebrows off of camera because you already know. Now I've got my eyebrows on, so I'm going to go ahead and take another rib real quick out of the mega toque. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a dab out of the rig. And then we're going to go ahead and get started on the look. Honestly, you guys, I don't know what type of look I want to do today. I'm kind of feeling like a neutral look, but I'm also kind of feeling like a colorful look. And then I'm also feeling like something simple, but then I'm also feeling like something with glitter, you know. And then I'm also thinking about something with like no eyeliner. And then I'm thinking about something with maybe with like a glitter eyeliner, you know. So, um, decisions, decisions. Um, after these rips, hopefully by then I'll make up my mind. Alright you guys, so today I'm going to be using this palette from a Colourpop. Um, I'm not sure if you can buy it anymore, I don't think it's available anymore, but this is a palette that I'm going to be going ahead and using. It's one of those palettes that has like all the singles inside. It looks really crazy because I dropped it sadly, so I lost one, two, three, four, five shades. But it still has really bomb colors in here and I really like the color, the, the color scheme on here. So we're going to be going ahead and using this palette. Now I am going to be trying to recreate a look that I did before, which was also a recreation of somebody else's look. I'm going to try to find it and put it on the screen. If I don't find it, it won't be on the screen. But instead of doing it in color and like, like colorful, I want to do it in more of a neutral color. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with... I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here to really like because I'm thinking about using this one and this like burgundy kind of color, you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to go in with this one first and this is the brush that I'm using. Um, I'm not really sure where it's from. Uh, uh, a BMX 430 crease brush and I got this in my box chart, so yeah. that I'm gonna go ahead and go in with is going to be with my brush. Okay. So the next color that I'm gonna be going ahead and going in with is like this burgundy type color right here. And I'm using this brush. You can't really see anymore because I already got makeup on it or whatever. But this one is from ColourPop. This is the E1 brush. This is the E1 brush from ColourPop. Let's go ahead and take a quick little dab break, you know to help us blend better.
ahead and um, I'm gonna grab a Q-tip for this part. And that's kind of how I'm gonna do my crease because this is how the look kind of goes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some makeup remover on it and I'm gonna go ahead and create my crease. was it just gonna go with something you know neutral and not too dramatic but I want glitter I want glitter I am gonna be using this glitter and I got this from Hotbox collect I will go ahead and leave um, a link to the Instagram down below but it it is kind of like a chunky ooh, it is kind of like a chunky glitter so I am like trying not to get the chunky pieces trying to get the smaller pieces just so I could do it like this you know so um yeah and what i'm using to have it stick is this duo um glue i use this for like anything <laughs> And I am going to be going ahead and doing it with eyeliner, with eyeliner, with concealer first, and then I will be going in on it with that. Revlon Cool Skin Skinny Liquid Eyeliner and I really like this one because I love the brush I love how thin it is All right, so I'm gonna go get some cereal because I got some munchies and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I will not finish, but I'm gonna catch up this eye and I'll be back. All right, you guys, so now that my eyes are done, I am gonna go ahead and go with my onto my face. I'm not gonna put on my eyelashes just yet, just because I don't want any um, powder to fall on them. I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick dab and then we're gonna go, you know, first I'm gonna moisturize, so the moisture, moisturizer could like, you know, like seep in my skin while I'm taking it out, you know, what percentage is my phone? tell you guys what moisturizer i went in with but this is the moisturizer that i went in with i really like this moisturizer i just recently tried it it is a little bit on the pricier side um but it's really good and i really recommend it to you guys i got it a while ago when my face was getting really really crusty and really really dry for some reason 
and that has literally saved my life. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Foundation, I am gonna go ahead and go in with Collab and CoverGirl True Blend, and I'm gonna be mixing these because both of these are obviously not my shades, so we're gonna be putting a little bit of each. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Beauty Blender, and this is um, a Beauty Blender from Beauty Blender. It's a little foot up because my dog decided to chew it. I tried to cut it straight because it's twenty fucking dollars. Not throwing it away. Still works great as fuck. So ten out of ten for me. Definitely worth my twenty dollars. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Cover Girl True Blend Concealer. I really like this concealer, you guys. If you guys like the Tarte Shape Tape, this is kind of like an off brand of it, honestly. And then I'm also just gonna put a little dot of foundation just because this is a really, really light shade. This is a really, really light shade of um, concealer. out and also you guys um i have stopped cream contouring i only the um highlight my face but i no longer cream contour i just contour with powder all right guys so now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the powder maybelline new york i got this one from rite aid it doesn't matter where i got it from but this is maybelline new york um this is the powder this is my first time trying this one i just recently stopped using the huda beauty one and i like the huda beauty one but i feel like it was really heavy i like this one it's really light i feel like it's a really good um powder and it's really really cheap too i think it's only like six bucks um of course it's not as good as like laura mercier but it's really good i feel like it's really lightweight and um it's just really nice I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the powder and I'm gonna be using this Hula Benefit um, um, bronzer. <laughs> Did end up finishing my face. I will still list the products down below that I used for my lips and setting spray and mascara and my eyelashes. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you guys like this look. I really like this look. I think it's really, really cute.